Welcome back everybody to the channel, it's Shrogs, and today we're going to be playing Sea of Thieves. So I am going to be doing non-stop Flame Hearts and these Order of Souls ship missions. I'm doing this because you have to turn in 50 Captain Skulls of the Damned in order to get these really cool sails that I have never seen anybody use in game. I doubt that many people have it because you have to do Flame Heart essentially 50 times. And that's no joke. And you can do these Order of Souls missions in lieu of it, but they don't always, I found like, if, sometimes they don't always drop the Captain Skull of the Damned. So it's still worth doing it. It's good loot and it's good money. And I really enjoy doing these ship missions. And I was playing with someone uh, who was random and I learned that there's a lot of mistakes people make that when I made my original Flame Heart video, I missed a lot of tips which just kind of went over my head as not really being tips just kind of like how i play the game and i realized like a lot of people are playing this game inefficiently so i'm going to be doing flame heart and these order of souls ghost missions non-stop with my brother today and i'm going to be going over some tips and tricks so here you can see i'm at some random island i basically looted my starting island because i'm waiting on my brother i was like whatever i'm just gonna go get some loot we got really stocked up well i got us really stocked up so you can see i just spent a little bit of time just preparing but this is all overkill. We don't need all this, but it's going to really make life easy for us. So here we have uh, the Order of Souls ghost mission up ahead, and hopefully we'll get some skulls. One thing I want to point out here is if you look at the top of my mass of, of the ship, you see I have two flags up. One's got the heart on it, the white and red flag. That's a friendship flag. You put that up uh, at the top of your mast. There's a little box. Kind of hard to see, but there's a little box up there. You click that, you can put up a flag. That's the friendship flag. So hopefully if another ship comes up to us, they'll see that and they'll put theirs up and we can become an alliance. The other flag up there is the gold hoarders. Emissary flag. And remember to get those, you have to get the level 10 or 15 with that emissary, maybe even level 20. Just by doing their quests that they sell each day in game time and... And then you can buy the emissary flag and raise it up. That's going to get you more gold and more rep every time you turn in something for that faction. So since I have the gold hoarders, every time I turn in chests, so it's going to give me more gold and rep. When you're doing these, uh, someone asked me the other day, when you're doing these ghost ship missions, which one, which faction should you represent? My response to that is any faction is going to be really good because you're going to be getting skulls for the Order of Souls. You're going to be getting chests. And you're going to be getting uh, crates of like exotic spices and stuff from doing these. And so you're going to be getting rep for all three factions. Whichever one you need to level up more, just choose that faction. All right, two quick disclaimers before we start the Order of Souls event. First one is I'm playing on PC. I usually play on Xbox. So if I'm if I look like a noob, it's because I'm not used to key, uh, mouse and keyboard. Other disclaimer is I can't get my in-game chat to work, so me and my brother are using the Xbox app for voice comms because Sea of Thieves is just not working for some reason, so we can't communicate with other players. So, all right, let me know whenever you're ready, Ben, and we will set sail. Lower the sails. Okay, I'll be on cannons, right. I guess. Okay, so pro tip number one, load up your cannonball crate or whatever kind of crate you got and leave it on the top deck. Everyone likes to take their loot below deck. You want to leave these crates above deck. Let me show you why. You put it right next to your cannon. And now, every time I need to go restock more cannonballs, I don't have to run over here to the red barrels. They're, I can just at us. loot them right here. Okay, we're being shot at, my brother says. Pro tip number two, whenever you're looting barrels out of the water, bring a storage crate up. Set it right next to your harpoon. And this way, you can loot the barrel. And then load everything directly into that storage crate. And this allows you to really quickly loot everything. Oh, wow. A trophy amber plenty fin in that. Ah, uh, it's empty. Okay, so pro tip. Another reason why you don't want to take these below deck and having them accessible well it's in the same realm of things but i saw someone unload these storage crates they took all the loot out of the storage crate and they put it into the on board container so they unloaded all the cannonballs and put them into the cannonball barrel 
The problem with that is one, it's going to take longer to access that versus having it on the top. And the other downside is if your ship sinks, you're going to lose everything in these barrels. But if you had everything in a storage crate, it's going to float and you're going to keep it. So all your cannonballs will sink if you put them into the onboard containers. It is nice having a small supply in those crates because it muscle memory knowing where everything is yeah i always leave some in there i never unload them unless i just want to have a little bit in there is a lot of people on the server holy crap good yeah all right well let's get out of here um since we're right next to a port i'm just going to turn in the captain's skull because it's literally right there all right pro tip number three are we on three Whenever you get to a new island, just unload everything into your containers and just quickly fill up your inventory with island barrels. Because why not? Why wouldn't you? Might as well quickly get more supplies. You don't need to do multiple shipment runs. Just fill up your inventory once, call it good. And don't loot the bananas. Yeah, don't loot bananas. Fucking garbage. They're terrible. It would be cool if you could peel the banana and it would have a little bit more healing. It'd be cool if you could peel the banana and throw it on the deck and make people slip off. That would be cool. Why is that not a thing? That would be awesome. Could you imagine? Just like someone boards your ship and you have banana peels at the top of the ladders. Just that would be everywhere. awesome, dude. That would be awesome. Bananas go from the worst item in the game to the best. <laughs> Should be able to throw coconuts and... People that knock them out, throw tomatoes at them, splatter it on their face. <laughs> yeah. Food as a healing item or a weapon. That's actually a cool concept. Heck yeah. That'd be a really cool trade off, you know. Not a bad idea, honestly. Okay, nice. pro tip number four. Pro tip number four. Whenever you're passing by an island, Launch yourself over to it. After you've unloaded your inventory, of course. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to grab some supplies. And then we can just teleport back to our ship. So it's a quick way to get more supplies. If you're not passing barrels and you're not wanting to stop by at an island. You can just let your ship keep sailing. And you can loot the island and then just teleport over. Because you're not holding anything. It goes into your inventory. So it stays with you. Seven bananas in this barrel. That is the jackpot. Of trash. Dude, there's like six. Yeah, of trash. There's like six explosive barrels over here. Okay. So now we have ten more cannonballs. More fire bombs. And five more food and five more wood. So. And it costs me nothing. Okay, pro tip number five, or maybe six, I'm not sure at this point. Even though it takes Closer three cannons to kill a close. ship. Ignore that far ship, get the close one. Oh, I see it. Even though it takes three shots to kill a ship, I always shoot four. Because if my first two shots hit, and I think the third one's going to hit, there's still a chance it could miss, so I'm just going to shoot that fourth shot just to be safe. Pop on the right side. It was so yeah, close. Pro tip number six. If you fall off your ship and it's moving slowly, swim away from it. Because you're... you're yeah, just, keep, just keep swimming away. We got a lot of water in here. Yeah. Your mermaid won't spawn if you're too close. And if the ship's moving too fast for you to swim to it, just start swimming away from it and your mermaid will spawn. It's going to be the fastest way to get back. Okay, I'm on the ship. Okay, you, you got the steering. There's a ship right behind us on our right. I'm just going to take a blind shot, and I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, blind shot. Nailed it. Pro tip number seven. 
Once these loot crates no longer have cannonballs in them, I just move them away from the cannons. That way, when I need my cannonballs, left. I always have them ready. Wow, lightning just struck right next to me. Where? Why are we going left? The loot's to the right. Oh, the loot's right here. Ben, we're sinking! Oh boy. No, it was worse. It was like a second away. I even thought I heard the sinking sound effect. Damn. Good catch. Of course, I just turned off the camera for that, damn. That was scary, dude. I thought it was sunk. All right, guys, we uh, have been sailing for probably eight minutes now, and I finally found another player. So kind of an empty server I'm on, which is unfortunately more common than not. But that's a brigantine ahead, and we are going to give them our loot, which I, they're probably just going to kill us, right? They're probably just going to try to kill us, but... It all ends the same. We give him our loot. I gotta make sure there's not a captain skull in here. Okay, there's not. We have flame hearts, though. Uh, oh, hello. Why are you harpooning us? Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I'll play. I'll bite. I'll bite. Ooh, all right. I like free stuff. Hello? Hello? How is your day? It's a lot of flame heart stuff. Oh, that's fine. I'm just gonna take all of your loot, if you don't mind. Um, question, uh, can I take your fish, too? Of course, it's a yes. Oh, perfect, awesome. I'm gonna borrow this storage crate. <laughs> I really wish I had a mic working for this. help Harpooner out here. I
No, you just can't do it. Maybe the harpoon. No, the harpoon cannons in the way. Yo, his the cat's name is Chonk. Can you name your cat? No way, that's just a random name. Scraps, dude, they got cool cat names. Mine's Saddleback Alsatian. Well, I wouldn't mind just taking your flag since you, uh, you don't mind. The new ship, uh, smoke flare. The, the flares should be over at the shipwright. Uh, so if you go over to the, the shipwright, now put the, the should have them. Uh, it, you're probably a legend too, so if you go into Athena, um, hideout, you can actually get a green one too, man. That green one's pretty cool. about how every storage crate is full. <laughs> God, how oh, work to do, huh? This hurts the OCD. <laughs> Ooh, can we shoot you with a cursed cannonball real quick? Let me put up a ring. I just need one more. Thank you, thank you. What did I grind? What did I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, to get that faster is just to buy the voyage from the Order of Souls Lady. Someone started it and didn't finish it. I have a purple it. one for you, Bear. Oh, okay, thank you. I, I hit you with the green. Are you drunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. There's probably some in here, too. Wait, don't touch that. I'm using that. No!
You didn't tell me I got it for some reason. Oh, because I... Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I guess I didn't need that one, but it was fun anyway. Okay, well, another great success. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching the video. I hope you got some tips. And uh, remember, be nice to people in this game. Um, everyone just kills each other. I always try to make it a point of being nice. So I always give my loot away at the end. Because honestly, money, unless you're new to the game, money doesn't have value. Like if you've been playing for a year, most likely money has no value to you. Because it's just for buying ships and by after a year of playing this game you either have everything you want or you have like a million gold and it's just like there's no point in stealing loot from others really anymore um so i don't know i try to be nice so hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one and until then take care